So the course is Eco Leadership. My name is Sasha Wolfhart. And I'm Jim Wolfhart. And um, we want to, students to think about first, in terms of this course, what an ecosystem is. And so if you imagine for a minute an ecosystem that has um, inputs and outputs and cycles and it has um, a great biodiversity and all of the uh, organisms within that ecosystem have an important role to play and they contribute in some specific and special way to the functioning of that whole ecosystem. So that's going to be kind of where we start and then from there... We're going to take that concept of uh, an ecosystem and we're going to apply it to the concept of leadership. So the course does not focus on environmental leadership or leadership for environmental organizations. Organizations. We're really looking at a philosophy of leadership borrowed from an ecosystem model. So this is leadership for any community that you might be in. It could be a nonprofit, it could be a classroom, it could be a business. Um, but what we want to think about are the elements of an ecosystem that Sasha mentioned and see how those elements create this community of interactions and interrelationships that we hope it, it leads to the ability to deal with changes, different kinds of input, different kinds of changes internally, Diversity is a really important one for us, so we think, for instance, that the more diversity you have, the richer the community is. How does a leadership model deal with those kinds of issues? Mm -hmm. And to make that business or organization sustainable. Um, so we will do a couple of things with the course. Of, um, one of the things that we'll do is explore um, several leadership philosophies that already exist, different individuals who are approaching their organization or their business within a, a specific sort of model. Um, we will also visit an ecosystem. We're going to go up to Riverwoods Field Laboratory on the Kissimmee River, and we're going to look at how that river which was manipulated and um, turned into a system that was not sustainable is now recovering as they've restored that system back to its natural ecosystem function, which is healthy and sustainable. So we're going to kind of look at um, that model as well as um, some business and organizational models. So we're looking at uh, four assigned books um, that will provide a background on things like ecosystem, on leadership, and um, the connections between the two four books, probably four short papers on each of the books. We will also do the Riverwoods field trip on March 24th to 25th. I think it is. It's on the website. It's a Saturday and a Sunday, so we will stay overnight there, and that'll be part of what we will do for the experience. Students will probably then do projects on um, some examples of the kinds of organizations we're talking about, our Toms, which do the shoes, mm -hmm. the Green Belt Movement, or Garden Thigh. So there are a couple of different organizations, Google is another one, that have this kind of a leadership model and students will do group projects probably on exploring those. And then probably a final project, which will be, um, we're open to lots of different possibilities. It'll have some kind of component that will explain what their leadership philosophy is that comes out of all of this, or they might actually design a company that has a certain kind of leadership philosophy. 